can we have Mazen? So for the third award, my colleague from Free Thought Lebanon, Mazen Abu Hamdan, is going to hand in the award and say a few words. Good evening, everyone. It's difficult to exaggerate the impact that Professor Dawkins has had on promoting free thought around the world. In the Arab world alone, millions of copies of his books have been downloaded and hundreds of millions of YouTube videos have been watched. This was not only important to change our minds about one particular opinion. In our parts of the world, uh, we are not allowed to learn about evolution in schools. So even those of us who were skeptic about religion, uh, we were sort of caught or imprisoned. We could not escape, for example, the argument from design. It's true that we could think that religion is unfair to women, but the eye is so complicated, there must have been some designer. And then we read Dawkins' books, and we were liberated. Uh, so this was incredibly empowering to us. As individuals, it was inspiring to us. And the impact he has had is not only limited to changing our own minds. I strongly think that all the activism we have done since then, and that all of us in this room will continue to do, is indebted to the inspiration and empowerment which Professor Dawkins has given us. Even the launch of uh, our own organization, Free Thought Lebanon, it began with the screening of a film called Dawkins on Darwin, which was sent to us more than 10 years ago by the Richard Dawkins Foundation. So we are very uh, pleased to be in a position to offer you this award, and we promise you to keep on the good work, and we're deeply convinced that in a few years, decades, the Middle East will change, and we have you to thank for that. I am hugely moved and deeply grateful to receive this award, uh, to receive it from an organization of ex-Muslims, two organizations of ex-Muslims, is really means a tremendous lot to me because I feel that the Islamic world is the, is the place in the world that we really do need to send our message. And uh, I feel humbled to be in the company of the, my two companions today. All I do is simply write books about science and that's easy because the evidence is there and I just write it down but they have the courage to be activists and to actually go out in, um, in even at the risk of their lives in one, in, in one case and uh, try to influence the, the, the world in the most uh, dangerous and risky way so I feel very humble to be in the same company and hugely grateful to receive this award. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>